The new movie Two Hearts comes to the big screen this week. The flick is based on a true story, the son's dire medical need. It also focuses on the question of what if. Film critic Chuck Plinsky recently talked to actress Rada Mitchell about the making of the film. Uh, Miss Mitchell, so glad you could join us this morning. Uh, I'm really anxious to talk to you about your new film, Two Hearts. Um, I know you have a lot of offers coming your way. Like everyone, your time is precious. What made you decide that uh, Two Hearts was a movie that you wanted to commit your time to and, uh, and, and, and do? Well, um, actually, I'd worked with the director um, on a movie previously, and... Uh, he, we bumped into each other kind of serendipitously, and then he sent me the script, and I was really just moved by the story. Um, it's a true story, and it tracks the lives of these uh, two couples, and you see how their lives are kind of interconnected in a very mysterious and, and magical way. Um, and I think the movie, you know, is really important because it addresses challenges, but leaves you with a very inspired point of view. and. You know, it's coming out at this time, which is, I think, a time when we really need to see content that makes us feel good about life. Yeah. Uh, you're playing a woman. You know, this is based on a true story, as you said. Did you have the opportunity to meet Leslie uh, and talk to her? Or how do you approach, as an actor, playing someone who, you know, yeah. who, who's not a fictional character? Well, you do feel a certain kind of responsibility to tell the story, you know, as it really was. Um, I sort of prepared the character before meeting Leslie or before actually talking to her. Um, and when she did arrive, uh, I met her and she, she pretty much was as I felt like she would have been. Um, so there was this kind of connection and I felt like, oh good, I got it right. Um, and, and then strangely enough, she and, uh, and Jorge were on set when we were shooting uh, the film. So. Uh, myself and Aidan Canto were playing uh, those real characters and they were in the scenes in the background watching us. So it was kind of an unusual <laughs> experience, you know. There was, it was kind of a little surreal, but kind of fantastic um, that we got to play their lives out and they got to kind of reflect on their lives as we were sort of their surrogates on set. Did they ever stop and correct you on, on, on any little thing? Or, you know, they were very polite about everything <laughs> they kind of <laughs> I, I think there was something kind of you know lovely about the casting um Aiden Canto is a very sort of elegant human being and uh, the man who he's playing <laughs> well you know he, he, he actually was playing a kind of a heroic character and what was great about it you know it's a true story um so you see good people and it's nice to see good people mm -hmm. really now, um, uh, Speak about working with your co-star. You know, chemistry is is not something that you can fake. Uh, nobody, I, don't, I don't care how good of an actor you are. You, you can't fake that. And you guys really have that. You can tell that on the screen. Uh, yeah, we got along. We got along. And um, I think it was because there was a sort of a mutual respect. And as I was saying, Aiden, is less, he's a lovely guy. Um, so I just kind of enjoyed just his niceness. Um, and obviously he's a really talented actor, so so much of acting is about, you know, the person you're acting opposite. Um, so I was lucky to be working with a talented person. Um, and we, we definitely had fun, um, for sure. I mean, who, who, who wouldn't have fun? We were shooting in Vancouver and in Hawaii, <laughs> staying at the Kahala Hotel. I mean, there was, there was nothing not to like about this project um, in terms of especially where we were shooting. Um, so it was great circumstances. And again, that's kind of glad that this movie's coming out in a way during this period because it does have a very kind of positive uh, message and does kind of, you know, have a little bit of sunlight in it, you know, this feeling of of levity um so it's a good time to go to the movies and and, and see something like this what do, you, what do you hope they're talking about when they're done well me of course <laughs> no, <laughs> no i think i think that embedded in the story is you know there's a message that you know life however challenging it presents itself is in a way always right and you've got to trust that process um and i think it's particularly pertinent pertinent right now to consider that because we're sitting in this like mystery I guess or this kind of mm -hmm. as I said a long pause not quite knowing where it's gonna end or what's gonna come of it and we may never know the ramifications for you know 20 years what this all means 
Um, but this movie, it, it, you know, it, it has characters that ha sort of question their lives and they do feel that there's a kind of a sense and a purpose to things. And I think that's really what the message is for this film. Well, not giving anything away, my own family went through a sit similar situation uh, as was played out in the film. So it, it really hit me. Uh, yeah. And I appreciate you, you being in it. So. Well, thank you. Rhonda Mitchell, yeah. thank you so much for joining us this, week, uh, this morning. Uh, please stay safe. Thank you. And you.